Hi everyone. In today's lecture, we will try to understand one complex thinker and a complex theory that is social action theory of Talcott Parsons through a, a way in which we will utilize certain examples, uh, certain pictures, funny pictures, so that all the theories we understand gets retained in our mind. So let's start the lecture. First of all, try to understand the methodology of Parson. Parson has had a wide exposure. He was an American sociologist. So everything which was uh, urban in nature, urban sociology was also engraved in his theories. He went to Germany and then he studied extensively German idealism. What is German idealism? If you have studied Immanuel Kant, you must be aware about his theory of Maxim. He also studied the British utilitarianism that was given by Jeremy Bentham. Jeremy Bentham said that an action is ethical, which is based on maximizing your happiness, minimizing your pain. And he also studied in great detail Max Weber. He was the one who made his writings extensively popular in non-German speaking countries. Okay. Thus, he studied everything and he made our life miserable. He mixed everything in a grand theory, a grand salat that made us feel, Are bhai, akhir kehna kya chate ho? every aspirant became confused by reading his theory because he's mixing everything. Whatever he studied, he's trying to make and encapsulate in a capsule. He also combined both micro and macro aspects. He's a functionalist. So he was concerned about integration in a social system. And that integration happens like any other functionalist through values. But he's also studying a micro concept that is social action. That is something which was studied by Max Weber and micro sociologists. Now again, he's confusing us. Our face is just like this cat. Super confused. Now let's understand his theory of social action. He was of the belief that all the actors are rational, irrespective of they are rich or poor, they are literate, illiterate. What is their social condition? They are born in any race, any caste. That doesn't matter. Everybody is rational. And they have choice of means. So if they want to achieve any goal, they want to earn money, they have various means to achieve it. They can do any job, they can open their shop, they can resort to illegal things. Everybody has choice of means to achieve their goals. While you want to reach your goals, you have primarily two constraints, two roadblocks. One is normative. Every society has good, bad, you know, what should be done, what should not be done. There are norms. Like if you belong to Jain community, you cannot earn money through agriculture. This is a part of normative constant. The second is situational constants that is pertaining to circumstances. You may want to become an IS officer, but you do not belong to a sound economic background. So you cannot take uh, coachings and pay hefty fees. So you will be doing social, uh, you will be doing self-study. So your goal is same, but now what you have changed is you have changed your means to achieve it. He said that there are primarily two orientations. Every social action that anyone is performing has two orientations. One is motive, second is values. Motive means what is why behind any action. Value, again, the norms, the right and wrong judgment which is there in your mind. Motives can be of three types and values can also be of three types. Motive, the first motive is cognitive. Cognitive is based on material and objective need. If you want to earn money, you want to gain employment, you want to buy a car, you want to make your own house. These are all are based on cognitive motive. Cathectic is self-fulfilling, emotional. That is watching cricket match, going to temple. Okay. Uh, your bond with your friend. All these are based on cathectic motive. Evaluative is self-evaluative based on moral values of society, based on larger good, not just based on your own needs. Civic virtue is a type of evaluative motive. And there are corresponding values, uh, values to it, like cognitive value, appreciative value, and moral value. First of all, we will try to understand instrumental action. You can see this cat is working. Cat is suited and working in an office. This is an instrumental action. Cat is trying to earn money by getting a job, working in, uh, hard in office. It is an action based on cognitive need. Cat wants to have money. Cat wants to live a good life. That is why cat is suited, working 10 to 4, working hard. And this is a kind of instrumental action. If cat wants to go to New York from Mumbai, because there is a good 
uh, economic and social condition. So this is also a kind of instrumental action. Now see, these three cats now want to go to temple because if they go to temple, they feel emotionally well. They feel uh, self-fulfilling and it is also appreciated by the cat community that these cats have visited temple. If these three cats uh, shows patriotism towards their nation, towards their community, again, this will be appreciated by everyone because it is based on cathetic needs, emotional needs of cat and appreciative value. It will be appreciated by him, by these cats as well as the community. Okay. So it is an expressive action. Evaluative action. See these three cats. They are queued to give vote in the ballot box to choose their prime minister. Now the action is based on self-evaluation and appreciation. If they give vote, they won't get any money, immediate money, but it is for larger good. It is part of civil uh, civil virtues or civic virtues for greater good. Action inspired by their conscience and religious values okay, are moral action. So when an action is performed based on evaluative motive and moral values, they are evaluative action. Now let's revise it once okay, quickly. Methodology of Parson, he was inspired by a great number of uh, schools like German idealism, French positivism, functionalism, British utilitarianism. Thus, he combined everything. He combined even micro and macro aspect. Okay. His theory of social action is based on that every actor is a rational actor and they have choice of means to achieve their goals. Like uh, uh, they have, they can get their goals through various means based on two constraints. One is normative, the another is situation. Normative is based on values. Situational is uh, the pertaining circumstances. It can be lack of money. It can be you have more money. So if you have more money, you want to take a mobile, you will buy an iPhone. If you don't have money, you will buy a second hand phone. This is what this is situational constant. Orientations, motives, uh, orientations can be uh, based on two orientation. One is social actions are based on two orientation, motives and values. Okay. And motives can be cognitive, catactic and evaluative. Values can be cognitive, appreciative and moral. Okay. There are three main types of action, instrumental action. When you, when like this cat, you want to get a job, it is based on cognitive needs and cognitive value. And it is called as instrumental action. When you visit a temple or watching a cricket match, like these cats, then you are performing an expressive action because it is based on cathartic needs and appreciative value. When you are queuing up to give your vote, like these cats, then you are performing an action based on evaluative motive that will make you feel good and moral values because it is based on greater good. Then this is a moral action. I hope. This made many things clear. Thank you very much. Take care. Best wishes.